Bonjour. Welcome to GCSE French Oral and Writing. Today we're going to talk about describing a person. Not as simple as you might think. People tend to go wrong, miss things out, not make the most of what they could say. You could be asked in your oral or your writing to describe a person. It could be your best friend, a member of your family, and you need to include certain things. So have a look at this picture on the board and I want you to picture this picture when you're asked the question and make sure you include everything on here. The first thing that you're going to need to say about the member of your family or your friend is il or elle s'appelle, okay? I don't want qui s'appelle, qui s'appelle means who is called. So you can say mon meilleur ami qui s'appelle, but then you, that's a subordinate clause and you need to do a, the rest of the sentence with the verb in it, okay? For example, mon ami qui s'appelle Philippe a trois ans, okay? So it needs to be like that. So I would recommend you start with s'appelle. The next thing I want you to do is three things which are going to take the verb avoir. So if we're talking about someone else, we're going to say il or elle a. And then you're going to say the age, the colour of the hair and the colour of the eyes. Il a 15 ans, il a les cheveux bruns or marron. Don't forget that marron will not take an S. Il a les yeux bleus. Now it's really important that you include les here, that you have the X on the end of the hair and the eyes, and that you make the colour of the hair and the eyes plural, unless it is marron, in which case it is going to stay M-A-R-R-O-N, no S. When you've done your three things with the verb avoir, I want you to have three things with the verb être. So we're going to say that your friend is very something, but a bit something else, mais un peu something else. So there's the big heart, that's what they like mostly, that's the positive. Then the small negative trait as well. And then we're saving for last, this arrow is pointing at the legs because that's about sport, because you need legs for sport and sportif is what that S stands for. Il est très marron, mais un peu timide. Il est plus sportif que moi. You could also have, il est moins sportif que moi. Moins sportif que moi. Make sure that you recognise that that is less, M-O-I-N-S, and this is just M-O-I for me. So that is a comparative. The examiner would love to see you use a comparative. So we're not just saying one adjective, il est intelligent. You could say, il est très intelligent, mais un peu paresseux, et il est plus sportif que moi. Remember to use those three things, very, but a bit, and more sporty than me. Save your sporty for here. If you start with sporty, you'll run out of things to say when you get here. Finally, we need this big sentence. You're going to be asked how well you get on with this person. And your basic answer is normally we get on well, but sometimes we argue. But you're going to expand that. So, normalement, on s'entend bien, mais parfois on se dispute, it's going to be extended to normally we get on well because we have lots of things in common like sport, but sometimes we argue because he or she doesn't like my music. There's your standard answer, and this way you're using a fantastic reflexive verb, on s'entend bien, which sounds really French and colloquial, and on se dispute here, same thing. So I put them in brown because they're the bits that people mostly go wrong on. I want you to say five times, on s'entend bien. Okay, time's up, and on se dispute. Because repetition is the way of getting your brain to remember things. So we have the full sentence. Normalement, on s'entend bien, car on a beaucoup de choses en commun, comme le sport, mais parfois, on se dispute, car il n'aime pas ma musique. So, to recap, name three avoirs with age, hair and eyes, three êtres with very but a bit and more sporty than me, and then a lovely summary saying normalement on s'entend bien, mais parfois on se dispute, but with extended reasons for both. Merci, au revoir.